Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to tell you how to thread your Mauser chain stitch embroidery machine. So let's get started. First, we will thread the machine. the thread has to come in between the tension discs and then in between the tension discs and then through this loop of this tension spring thread spring through this loop and then with the help of a threader we'll pull the thread upwards first the th the threader has to go in f through this bigger hole for the first time after we have put the threader through this bigger hole you will see the threader comes below here and you will get the thread hooked to the threaders hook and then with the help of the threader we will put, pull the threads upwards just like this in the video see as you can see a thread is coming up through the bigger hole whenever you are pulling the thread like this you have to ensure that the thread is coming up smoothly the thread should come up smoothly just like this if it's not coming up smoothly please adjust your tension the tension can be adjusted by adjusting the tension nut here on the tension just like this you can adjust it accordingly as per your wish so now after we have pulled the thread upwards and after we have ensured the that the thread is coming up smoothly we will ensure sorry we will tell you how to adjust your needle needle's height and how to tie your needle so first take off let's take off the front cover see right now you can see that currently we have the stop motion installed on our machine so if you do not want to use the stop motion we will remove the stop motion for disengaging for disengaging the stop motion you have to remove this spring from here just like this in the video and as we remove this spring from here our, now our stop motion is disengaged now our stop motion is disengaged now whenever uh, so after we have done this we will rotate the wheel by hand and push the handle down and now our stop motion has been disengaged completely also you have to ensure that the chain stitch embroidery machines rotate clockwise so whenever we, whenever you will be using your machine you have to ensure 
that your machine rotates clockwise just like this in the video see you can see the machine rotating clockwise perfect now let's get now let's tie the needle here so when we will be putting the needle into the central bar tube we have to ensure that first of all the stop cam is at this position rotate the wheel by hand and bring the stop cam at this position the stop cam should be at this position so after we have set the stop cam at this position we'll put the needle needle bar into the central bar tube for chain stitching the needle hook should be in front of you for chain stitch embroidery the needle hook should be in front of you your handle position should be at 6 o'clock and the needle hook should be in front of you for chain stitching after we have adjusted the needle height we will tighten this central bar screw and then we will also tighten the needle bars positioner gauge screw this is the needle bar gauge or stopper so after so after adjusting the needle height and after setting the needle bar into the central bar tube now we will thread the machine so with your left finger like left hand finger like this hold your thread like this and rotate your handle when you are doing this please ensure that your when you are catching your thread your thread is dancing like this while rotating your handle so our handle is rotating and we have caught the thread like this upwards like this and our thread should be dancing dance around after we have done this so after we have done this we will rotate our handle now sorry not handle we will rotate our machine's wheel and as we are rotating catching the thread like this we will see that our needle has caught the thread and when our machine is threaded we will see the thread is now coming up through the small hole that is the needle hole when the machine has been threaded the needle comes up through this through the needle hole or the small hole in the needle plate now raise your foot and bring your thread under the pressure foot then again put your cloth underneath or on whatever you want to do embroidery so after we have put the cloth under the pressure foot we will again bring the pressure foot down and then we will start doing chain stitch embroidery
you can see the machine doing amazing chain stitch embroidery work So after doing chain stitch embroidery, let's switch over to moss stitch. Your handle will be at 6 and your stop cam position, this, this should be your stop cam position. Whenever you are changing your whenever you are changing from chain stitch to moss stitch or from moss stitch to chain stitch you have to ensure that your stop cam position should be this just like at this position exactly like this so now let's loosen the central bar screw and change our needle hook position backwards away from us at 12 o'clock and in moss stitch the needle's height will be little bit upwards a little bit up high little bit high the needle's height should be little bit higher after we have set the needle height we will tighten the central bar screw and we will start doing moss stitch embroidery so the next step is we will also flip the worm gear and change it to moss stitch we have flipped the worm gear so now let's get started for moss stitching. We are set for moss stitch now. You can adjust the tension. And here you can see moss stitch embroidery work on your Mauser chain stitch embroidery machine. Amazing moss stitch embroidery work on your Mauser chain stitch embroidery machine.
Thank you so much for watching.